conversation with the experts and the organizers at the Maritime Spectrum with the theme Viksit Bharat, organized by the Company of Master Mariners of India at the Indian Register of Shipping. So come, let's take you in special conversation. Sir, first of all, uh, many congratulations to you and I appreciate uh, the kind of uh, seminar which took place uh, with the Maritime spect Spectrum and the theme was Viksit Bharat. Now talking about the Vadvan port, uh, which is all over now, uh, which, ha which also talks about one person contribution towards the GDP. So I want to know from your mouth that how the positives would be working towards the Viksit Bharat. Vadvan port is planned as the biggest port in the country and the biggest investment in port sector so far. It is going to put India among the biggest container ports, 10 biggest container ports in the world. The investment of 76,241 crores consisting of 11 berths, reclamation, railway line, dedicated road, power and water is going to make this port the most efficient and next generation port of the world. The work on this has begun. This port will be able to handle 300 million tons of cargo and 24 million TUs of containers which will put Badwan as among the 10 biggest container ports of the world. So it is the next generation port and going to put India among the big league in the port sector. Sir, as you talked about some challenges also and there, there is an expected date of completion for this particular port. So what are the things in, involved? The biggest challenge of course given the size and the scope of work is to keep the execution of the works within the time frame. The work of the port with this kind of investment and with so many segments has many challenges of activities being put into action and completed in time. That's one big challenge. The second is of course to meet local aspirations of employment where people will have to develop in which Vadhavan port is doing some work, uh, is get skilled and competencies which will allow them to get employment within the port and outside the port where the opportunities will open up. And of course, the normal challenges in executing any construction is there. But all this is doable in the sense they are containable and therefore we hope that the project or the port will get commissioned by 29, 2029-30. That means we are competent enough to uh, complete it on the said date. Oh yes, in all respects, unless something totally unforeseen, you know, outside our control happens like natural calamities, something like that, we should be able to complete it and able to commission it within time of 29.30. So last liner, it has, as you talked about, the center and state, uh, there is a collaboration and there is a ratio also. So can we say that this is a big example of the center and state coming forward uh, towards the maritime industry and making this thing happen? Yes, of course. Initially, this post was planned as a state port in 98. But now government of India thought of taking it over and doing in the starting in the year 2016. And then a state government was a willing partner through Maharashtra Maritime Board. So a state government's coming on board is a big plus because the local issues, particularly employment, land acquisition, are all in the realm of the state government. So therefore, it's the best combination where the strength of the central and state governments will combine to make the port execute the works within time. Uh, of course, we are standing today at this function uh, from the CMMI talking about the maritime spectrum with the theme Viksit Bharat. So what would you like to say as an organizer from the CMMI? Uh, CMMI is a body. It's a private body of uh, 
all master mariners our members are master mariners as you must have heard during one of the talk there that we also induct people who are not master mariner license holders but they are second mid license holders we induct them as associate members and today we have a, a, a big spectrum of 4200 members uh, in cmmi and they are all over the world not necessarily in india but they are indians settled abroad different positions we also have people who are now into various industries like uh, con connected to shipping uh, training manning uh, ship building uh, logistics transportation ship owners uh, you know, policy makers people in the dg shipping people in mmd people in shipping masters office you know our members are everywhere so we have a very wide spectrum of members and uh, we offer our help to the government of india dg shipping whenever they need some sort of assistance we always have some member who can help them you know because we have people from different fields so that is what is cmmi uh, sir my question is of course today at this event which is um, maritime spectrum to uh, with the theme of viksit bharat so what is all about uh, could you elaborate cmmi always holds uh, you know a number of events where we uh, conduct lectures seminars even conferences where the aim is to dissipate knowledge aim is to share knowledge so we invite eminent speakers from the industry who come and talk about various aspects of the shipping like today's subject is viksit bharat so here we have taken the idea of the future of shipping industry in india so that is why it's called viksit bharat based on the uh, uh, the theme of our prime minister shri narendra modi ji so it has been themed on that you know this is the theme which we have adopted and in that we are talking of building of new ports we are talking of ship building industry future of industry we are going to also talk about imo like you know the international maritime organization where rules and regulations are made so india has been representing but in a very low capacity i would say but slowly we are now being seen we are being heard so that's again viksit bharat you know so we are growing sir i would like to ask you of course there is always a, a take away from a program so what are the take aways from this program of course the, the challenges are also been talked about like with the wadwan port there are plus and minuses as well so what would you like to say about that any project you take up you know there are challenges i mean nothing can be smooth so same is the case with building a port or even building a rail or you know a, a road these um, your express ways and all there are bigger people get displaced and nobody likes it so this is also part of that and um, you ask about takeaways well what we are going to do now as cmmi after the seminar is over we'll prepare a white paper on the outcomes of the seminar and present it to dg shipping so dg has a view of what the industry thinks you know so we are going to represent the industry and convey it to dg as a let's all join the vexed bharat team thank you